Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about the how to display department that has no employees. So, add here, I am using this two tables. So, add here, uh, the most important columns are DPT number here and DNAME. So, according to this, so with the help of DPT number, I will do the joining and hereafter going to retrieve a uh, DNAME. So, that has no any uh, employees. So, let's write the query. So add here first going to use select a statement. So selecting D dot name. Add here from escort dot from DPD table. So creating the alias D. Now here after let's use where clause. So where clause going to ex use exits statement. So about the exits statement I already discussed. Exit statement, correlated sub query, sub query. So please watch my previous video because this, uh, this all those things are dependent upon the previous video's concept. Now here after escort dot. So add here going to take emp table, creating the alias e. And here after let's give where condition. So going to give the where condition on d dot. So d dot dpt number equal to e dot dpt number. Now let's close by packet exi exits. So at here name doesn't exist. So we need to give at here d name. Now if you execute to this table. So it's a displaying. This is a displaying. Uh, department has employees. So add a account, research, and sales. So now here I'm going to use not. So about the not exits uh, clause. So it's just reverts to exits. So see add here it's a operation. So operation department that has no employees. So let's see how this how the query work. So add here selected dname. So I, I selected add here dname from escort.db tables and here I created the alias of escort.db table D. Here after where not exits. So this is the add here correlated subquery. So if you execute this inner query or subquery, so add here the this dpt number d dot dpt number could not find. Means this uh, this query this sub query is related with related the values with outer query so that we can say this is the so, uh, correlated sub query. So add here, let's check the concept. Add here, select a star from escort.emp with e.dpt number. So e.dpt number and here d.dpt number. So add here, one by one that check. So 10, 10 equal, 20, 20 equal, 30, 30 equal. And here, there is no any 40. So there is no any 40 at here. In this uh, table, there is no any uh, 40 matching value. So that it's if you return at here 4 and DNAM. So there is no any 40 uh, has any em uh, employees. So that it will return at here 40. So 40, there is no any employees. So no any flow you can find with 40. So these are the things here. So you have to use not exits. So if you exit, so at here 10, 20 that exits. So this will display the or DNAM that has this kind of employees. So 10, so this is the employees inside DPT 10. And here this is the employees. So in 20 and this is the employees at here 30. So 10, 20, 30 it's all match at here. Uh, so that it will uh, match and here 40 is not match. That means 40 dpd number 40 that has no any implies. So dnm operation that has no any implies. So this is the first way we can retrieve the output display department that has no any implies. Now here after I am going to discuss one more concept to get the same output. So add here let's write select d so d dot d name from db table 
So let's use the idea from escort dot dpt and creating the alias d. Now here after we need to use except operator. So about the except operator, I already discussed in my previous video. So let's copy that one to save some time. So same add here, same alias I created with except except as statement. Now here after going to use inner chain. So inner chain that return only matching values. So inner chain as here after going to inner chain uh, with escort.emp. Escort.emp creating the alias E. Now here after let's use on and here. So D dot dpt number equal to E dot dpt number. So the uh, add here if you execute this two query, so see, so add here, so dpt number dpt number is the common column. So that add here I have given the condition on or d dot dpt number e dot ep number emp number e dot dpt number e dot dpt number. So now if you execute this query. So see right here, you uh, getting the same output. So if you execute this one, the same output. So this is the first way to display a department that has no any implies. So this is the second query. Now let's execute. This. See right here, the same output I'm getting. So this is the things right here. So select to uh, D name. So I selected only D name from escort dot dpt number. And here I used inner chain concept. So when that found, so d dot uh, when you execute this query, so see right here it's uh, all displaying uh, research sales research sales. So there is no any right here there is no any values related to accounting. So if you execute this query, so it will return right here. So except so this is the returning this all values accounting research sales. So accounting research sales by executing this query. So you can find our uh, accounting research sales. There is no any operation here. So by using except, so except whatever the values inside the first table that will reside and reside and here do the minus with the second table. So in second table, this all values so sales research accounting. So this will uh, eliminate. Now hereafter you get this output only operation. So this is the second way to find out a department that has no any employees. Now uh, let's check which one is the better, which one is the better query. So if you act, select this one hereafter click on display estimated execution plan. So this is the first four and here this is the second four. So this is the first part here. So by using not exits statement, there is one, one step, two, three, four, five. And here by using this uh, query, so there are multiple steps. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that if you are going to find out uh, to better performance, you should use not exits statement. So add here with not exit nested joint left anti semi joint here after this is the output here top here. But if you are using this concept except operator this concept so add here nested here after sort. So for doing the sort this will also take some time. So if you have millions of records in the table so by doing the sort method so it will take more time here. Now here after that load here after that of loading the output. So the for better performance, you should use the first query. So you should use first query or this concept. So these are the things about to how to display department that has no employees in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.